All right, so we're just going to look at a short, take a short minute after the announcement. Stop. I hope they find him and can sign him out. So anyway, we have concave and convex polygons. And there's a real simple way to remember this. A concave polygon is a polygon that kind of caves in. And basically what a concave polygon is, is no side extends into the interior of the polygon. Now what the heck does that mean? Because Sure, yeah, whatever. So no side extends into the interior of the polygon. What that means is a concave polygon, you would be able to actually extend one of the sides. If you were to extend it out, it would go to the interior of the polygon. So for example, let's look at this polygon here. Okay, this is a polygon. Remember, it fits all of the characteristics. It's got at least three sides. All the sides are segments, they're straight. It's a flat figure, it's closed, and there are no rounded sides, and each side only intersects two other sides. So it's a polygon. Now how do I know it's concave? A concave polygon is where, you see this side right here, let's look at sides one and two. Sides one and two both qualify this as a concave. If I were to extend side one, where does it extend? Into the interior of the polygon, right? If I were to extend side 2, doesn't that also extend into the interior of the polygon? Therefore, this is a concave polygon. That's the easiest way to determine if it's concave or convex. If I want to look at a convex polygon, if I want to look at convex, then what that means is it's not going to cave in like this. So if I were to draw, for example, a polygon that looked like this, an ugly old trapezoid, that's going to be convex because if I were to extend all of the sides, that one doesn't go into the interior, right? Neither does this one, nor does this one, and nor does this one. So that is a convex polygon because none of the sides extend into the interior. So let's draw a couple of these. All right, so come down here. And I'm going to draw a couple of polygons for you. So we'll draw this polygon. Okay. So I've got three polygons here. So the question is, are they concave or convex? Well, let's do the extension. I'm going to extend the side. If I extend this side out, does it go into the inside? No. That one? No. This one? No. This one? No. That is convex. None of the sides extend into the interior. So let's try this one. This side does not extend. Neither does this one. They're all on the outside. You see how when I extend these, they're all on the outside? None of them go into the interior of the polygon? So this would also be convex. So let's look at the last one. This side doesn't extend into the interior. Neither does this one. Neither does this one. But what happens when we get here? This one does, doesn't it? That goes into the inside. So that automatically makes this concave. Okay. Now, this side does not extend, but it doesn't matter. It only takes one. And most of the time, it's going to be two because of the way the nature of the caving in of the figure. That's why it's called concave, it's caving in. When you talk about lenses, and you talk about concave lenses and convex lenses, it's the shape. It has to do with the caving in. So this one doesn't extend here, but what happens? So there we go. So that is the difference between concave and convex polygons.